know how to dance. One, two, three, four! Mmm. Wow. Your host, Dorelai Zerovich. You are welcome to buckle up and join us on a journey of discovery of the Jewish community in the USA through food. It's going to be funny, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be delicious. So maybe you should unbuckle your seatbelts. The Jewish foodie, lift up. As after New York, and Memphis, and Arkansas, and Texas, we're going to the end of the day. But what a end of the day. ברוכים הבאים לוויומינג. מה הבאת אותי לפה? כאילו בסדר, יפה, שלג הרים, אבל אין פה לא יהודים ולא אוכל. על מה התוכנית? מה אתה מחייך, דביל? אני מברר. יש אוכל, בוא. הלו. היי. 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 אורי. אתה אורי. אני סטפן. אני אוהב אותך, אורי. היי, סטפן. איפה אתה? מישראל. אה, לא, אני יהודי. אוקיי, אז יש לנו אוכל, ויש לנו יהודי. זה זה. תודה רבה, ויומינג. אתה יודע, אנחנו יודעים את זה. אנחנו יודעים את זה. כן. כן, זה רעיון, חבר'ה. האלה הם טיפוקים. Jewish culture food. Pastrami made by a guy in Detroit, Michigan called Cy Ginsberg. He's been doing it for like 50 years. This stuff is as traditional as you get. We use bread that's made fresh every day by a local bakery. And that's what we use for our pastrami. We steam it a little bit. It makes it nice and tender. We searched all over the country for the best pastrami and the best corned beef so we could have the best sandwiches in Wyoming. Do you put cabbage? I want the Wyoming style. Um, we do put the cabbage on here because this is Wyoming made cabbage. <gasps> this is made in Lander, Wyoming. And do okay. you have like uh, Jewish customers in here? They come in for this every day. That's traditional Jewish food, Wyoming style, baby. The moment of truth. Stefan, I will score it 10 out of 10. Woo! That's so good. I just know. So if you know the Jewish community, just give me a number. Mm. So tell you what. My friend Josh, he's kind of our leader of our community here, and he will set you up. What do you think? I wasn't with you. It's like too tasty. So I just saw your lips move. <laughs> but I'm like really into the sandwich. But whatever you said, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Have you ever been skiing? אמרתם שזה סדרה על אוכל, מה, מה קשור הפעולה? הופה! עזבו שטויות, אני מצליח, אני לא מצליח באמת, אני לא מצליח. אורי? אתה ג'וש? אורי? ג'וש? היי, אורי! טוב לראות אותך. זה טוב לראות אותך פה. אתה יכול רק להגיד לי איך להגיד לך לבית החוטל? אבל במקום להגיד לך לבית החוטל, אני רוצה להגיד לך לבית החוטל, אם זה אוקיי. זה נראה טוב. אז אתה הולך, פשוט כאילו, קיק וגלייד, אוקיי? קיק וגלייד. There it is. Asaba kaf oti ba alikha, ken? Reinu at zem? Seder gamu. Matai ochlim. Yeah! <laughs> Do you want to, now that you're here, should we go back and grab, grab something to eat? Maybe a brunch at Barbman's Dance House? Okay, which way? I hope that way, right? Yeah. Back. Don't worry, you can continue. I will catch you. Come on, Ari! Don't wait for me. 
I'll meet you for the dessert. Yeah, you told me this was a show about food in, in Jewish communities. That's right. Food in our Jackson Hole Jewish community. So Barb and Stan put together this spread. Those are bagels made locally. They're some of the best bagels I've had in the States. There's lox. The light-colored one is from Russ and Daughters in New York. We've been there. That was my first bite in the show. White fish salad. Baba ganoush, hummus. So for how long are you in here? Well, we moved here 28 years ago, mm -hmm. and there wasn't a Jewish community. It wasn't? No, and it was kind of a startup by some families who wanted their daughters to be bat mitzvahed, and they did it in their homes. And before you knew it, we had a... Jewish community. Through the Jewish community here, they're having kind of a unique experience. Gracie goes to Hebrew school, Travis had a bar mitzvah a couple of years ago, and Jaden is going to have his bar mitzvah in June. So, Jaden, what's the next level? Uh, probably the same as you were. Okay. You have, like, of course, friends which are, like, not Jewish. Do you need to explain? We have very few bar mitzvahs a year, mm -hmm. and we have to explain to everybody every time. I would tell my friends that there's like, almost like coming of age in Judaism from like becoming like a boy to a man. I would like you to try some Israeli candies. Oh. A lot of people in at the army, they really like tortilla. Yeah. Okay. okay, I just want to see your reaction. Very good. Really? Yeah. Almost believed you. Yeah, it's really good. Gracie, you're exaggerating with your reaction. I think you don't really like it. I do. Yeah? This one's called Kif Kif. Is that a Kif Kif? A Kit Kat? Exactly. Yeah, I like, but the Israeli version. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of my favorites. And Mekupelet. Fall? <laughs> Mekupelet. I've never seen one that looks like this before. Oh, well, that's delicious. Mm. That like it was very good. Super good. Thank you so much, and I'll hope to see you in Israel. מהרגע שנחתתי בוויומינג, כולם אומרים, ביזון, 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 ביזון. עד עכשיו, ואני בחור אינטליגנט, לא יודע מה זה הביזון הזה, אבל אמרו לי, בוא לבר מקומי, תאכל המבורגר של ביזון. אמרתי, יאללה, בוא נפגוש את החבר'ה של הקהילה היהודית, וניתם את הביזון. נכנס לבר, אז היה. לאן הבאתם אותי? עוד יהודי פה. עוד מעט אנחנו מתארגנים כולנו לשחרית. זה המקום. יש פה גפילטה פיש? לורי ולארי? היי, what an interesting place. Thank you for having me. Welcome, welcome to the uh, Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. When did you found the community? Well, I came here and that was in 1975. Yeah, and I thought I was just coming to ski for the winter. And it's, uh, and, and it's now. And ever since then you stayed? I have. We always had a very wonderful, casual Jewish community. But then when we both had children, Larry decided it takes a village, you know? We have to raise our kids Jewish, and it takes a community. Tell me, why am I here? Like, what, what I'm about to eat? You're gonna eat the best bison burger in America. Bison burger? Yeah, do you know what a bison is? Yeah. It's a huge animal. It, it's like, it's like a low-class cow. Oh, huge. <laughs> oh, don't tell that to a bison. Oh, it so, like so it's cute. a very ancient animal. Okay, bring it on. Bison from Wyoming. Hey. Hello. Wow. 
What about the mustard? Just like you would do in Tel Aviv. All right, you ready for your first taste okay, of I'm ready. I'm gonna taste for the first time. All right. Uh, Besan hamburger. But they have one. But they have one time, Shelly. Wow. Wow. It's an irregular manash in Bauli. But no. The bison is much more lean, no fat. No fat, yeah. No, it's a very healthy meat. But it's still very juicy. Oh, yeah. Is it kosher? Oh, very. Yes. It's kosher in the same way as a cow is kosher, because they have split hooves, they chew their cud, they graze out in the open prairies. Nice. That's so good. So you started the community in 1975. Like, what has been changed, like, till this point? There's a lot more Jews here than there were in 1975. Like, there is a mix, like, of friends, like, non-Jewish and Jewish. The non-Jewish community has been incredibly supportive. We don't have a big enough facility to have Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur services. The churches here welcome us. They have been our home and they they try to do whatever they can to help us. The hamburger is amazing, right? Yes. But we need to burn the calories, so. <laughs> oh, I know a good place. The Stagecoach Bar. I'll take you. But do you know how to dance? <laughs> I can teach you, honey. Oh. Eat your burger. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Oh. Well, I've been holding in since the clock came by the morning. From the end of the week, I'm a bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-a-bum-